Welcome to Medet Bites Micro Just in Time Education. Hello, this is Chun again, introducing a new segment of our Medet Bites Capnography series. Let's look in detail at the phases of a normal capnography waveform. Phase one A to B, inspiratory baseline. This phase is where exhalation begins with air leaving the trachea, posterior pharynx, mouth and nose. The gas which is exhaled from these large conducting airways contains a negligible concentration of carbon dioxide. Phase 2 B to C Expiratory upstroke Phase 2 is the ascending phase. CO2 rich air from the alveoli begins to reach the upper airway and mix with the dead space air. CO2 is detected in exhaled air and is identified by the gradual upslope of the horizontal line between the end of phase 1 and the beginning of phase 2. Phase 3 C to D Alveolar Plateau This phase is where the carbon dioxide concentration curve remains relatively constant. As primarily alveolar gas is exhaled, this is known as alveolar plateau. The alveolar plateau is flat with a slight upward tilt toward the end. Phase 3 D This phase is the end of exhalation. It contains the highest concentration of carbon dioxide which is labeled the end tidal carbon dioxide. Phase 0 D to E This phase is where inhalation starts and is the end of the waveform segment. Oxygen fills the airway and carbon dioxide levels quickly drop back to zero and it returns to baseline which is called phase zero. The waveform should return to baseline. The frequency should match the patient's respiratory rate and the height of the waveform should be between 35 to 45 millimeters of mercury. Medtronic Engineering the Extraordinary